<laughs> Here's a new restaurant in town, and the food is forking fantastic. Oh. Oh. So start your morning right at the Morning Fork. The diner is now open for business as they aim to provide homestyle service at corporate consistency. Lori Wallace joins us live from Sacramento with more. Hey, Lori. Hey there, guys. Good morning. This is only day nine that they've been open here. You remember the former location of the Lucky Cafe? Well, now it's the Morning Fork. And Jennifer here has journals dating back to when she was 12 years old saying how her dream was to own this spot. And here you are. It's going to make me cry already. Gosh, right off the bat. Yes, this is a real dream come true. Um, my husband and I, we couldn't be happier. I know. We, we're getting all emotional here at the Morning Fork this morning. You have a lot of history in this building. A so Sacramento obviously uh, has known this place for a long time, but you personally have really had a connection with this place since you were a little kid. Yes, I remember the very first time actually seeing this place. I was 12 years old. It was Easter Sunday. I, my mom worked here when I was 12. Um, I was with my friends going to church. We came here for brunch afterwards, and I remember seeing lines of people out the door everybody was so happy and I just thought oh my god that looks great <laughs> that looks like something I want to do and now it looks even better let's talk about some of the things that you and your husband have done because every little thing in here did not happen by accident and that's no. what you told me so there's a lot of special little touches that you've yes. put on this place yes everything you see has been thought of I've been dreaming of the decor for years and years I literally have journals and journals for the past 10 years dating about the ideas that I wanted and we really wanted this location in particular. We would have done another one, but this is the one that really held our heart. Okay, let's talk about these counters. Oh my gosh, I am kind of obsessed with leaves. I'm just a leaf freak. <laughs> Everybody that knows me knows that. And Sacramento, you know, used to be called the city of trees. So we had this idea of the counter of leaves. Um, my husband's kids and I collected every single leaf on the counter. And this was over a year and a half ago. We dipped each one in glycerin to try to preserve the color the best we could super glued each leaf and then poured 30 gallons of epoxy over the counter. Wow, now yeah. you may be a little leaf expert, but you're also a girly girl who likes a little sparkle. Oh, so yes. the floors were not done by accident no, either. I love sparkles, I love glitter, and I always yes. wanted to walk on glitter. So these floors I'm so excited about. Yes, And I you love are a it. waitress here yourself for many, many years. So this has really come full circle for you. I, I kind of believe that it was faded to us, yeah. I, that's what I believe. Yes. So many years in the making. Now it's open. You guys have been slammed. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled. We haven't done any real advertising aside from our social media. And the outcome, the response from people has been so overwhelming. I cry every shift because I'm so happy. I walked in the door and she greeted me crying. I was like, no, don't cry. This is good. This is good. So we're going to stick around next hour. Uh, the guys in the kitchen are going to whip up some yeah, of the most yeah. popular dishes. So we're going to check those out and taste the food. And I'm just going to try to keep Jennifer from crying. I don't want to make her cry anymore. <laughs> who also works here. My grandma who used to visit us every week. We opened on the day she passed, so that's framed, and it was taken right there in front of that picture that was hanging here for the past 40 years. That is when the Sacramento was known as the Camellia Capital, and that picture has been in the Lucky Cafe for the past 30, 40 years, hanging right there. I love it. I love it. All right, we're not going anywhere, so we'll check back in with you guys at 9 o'clock. Lori, back over just, to you. just make sure that you get Keith to make you some bacon. The bacon is fantastic here. And tell Jennifer I'll be back okay, tomorrow for some more bacon. I will get the bacon secret. Yes. He has okay. been talking about I'll this bacon. Yep. He has been talking about the bacon.